You don't have any studs in your team. Okay, welcome back to Saturday night, Charlie number one, our 10th pick promotion, Jungle Fever. Ladies, you are state lightweight boxing. When you remember on my right, occupying the blue corner from Springfield Lakes, near Ipswich in Queensland. Coach Dick sure you keep from the Hoyt Tone, Kumbaru, Queensland. This young lady, Tim the Scales at Bar, no Tim shoulder. Scales, BC. Hey. At 57.40 kilograms. Wearing sure black trunks with shock white. Her speciality before tonight was Muay Thai boxing, where she's had 13 fights, 11 wins, one draw, one loss. Making her professional boxing debut here in Melbourne town tonight. Fondly known as the Pocket Rocket, Queensland's Sarah George. Proud member of Fox oh, Fit Fit 100, Mick and Kevin Hargraves and the team from Brooklyn near the West Gate oh, Bridge. The Australian the Women's Amateur Champion 2009 in professional boxing. Three bouts, two wins at 60.50 kilograms. Coming off a big win against Rachel Phillips on the big Brad Reed show at Burwood. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing those familiar trunks with a touch of gold and black with the skirt. Dirty guy, present! Referee Dez and Mr. Lotus, judges Brian Butler, East End Croydon, and Nick Williams, Wayne Ashdown. Time giver the bell, Tiger Tom Davis. Here we go. Welcome to the Coburg Town Hall in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. The date's October 1, 2010, and you're watching Fight 2 of the Charlie Lefrotta Ringside Promotions Fight Night, brought to you by Doherty's Gym. I'm Patrick Skeen, and joining me as co-host tonight is former Commonwealth champion Paul Ferrari. How are you doing, Paul? Very well, mate. Very well. Yeah, it's gonna, looks like it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good uh, night tonight. I think with all the fights. The girls are getting down. Dirty Die Prazak from Boxing Fit Gym is in the black trunks with the gold trim and Sarah George making her debut from Springfield Lakes Ipswich, the pocket rocket in the black trunks with the silver trim. And Sarah George has an 11 and 1 at Muay Thai record and she's putting it on the line against Di Prazak who's 2 and 1 in her 3 fights and she's boxed 13 rounds professionally and it's of course Sarah George's debut. And we're going to see some good skills tonight, Paul. I think we will, yes. Di Prazak has uh, lost a lot of weight through boxing and she's developing her skills rapidly under the tutelage of Mickey Hargraves. And she's improving with every fight. First fight she had, she was thrown in the deep end against Sarah Missy Howard. And then she's come back for wins over Kay Hodgson and Rachel Phillips last month. And she's looking all business here tonight. Poor kid of punches as she pushes Sarah George back. Sarah George crossing the line from Muay Thai and making her debut in the Sweet Science tonight. Good jab there from Di Prezak and she'll be looking to set up off her jab. They're pretty willing here too, aren't they, yeah, today? Yeah, both will. Yeah, and Sarah George comes from the martial arts background and she does have a, a striking background. It is looking like Di Prezak does have the power differential and catches Sarah George there, catches her off balance with a left hook. Sarah George toying there, but that's a jab has then knocked Sarah George back and Di Prezak moving forward, showing a lot of power tonight as she moves in and catches Sarah George with a straight right. Very intimidating first round here, inboxing for Sarah George, she's moving around, trying to get some lateral movement. What do you think of Di Prezak earlier, Paul? Oh, she's showing a lot of power there, isn't she? certainly is and she's improving at a rapid rate and showing great skills, good defence and she's got Sarah George on the back foot in this first round and winning the battle of the jabs and Sarah George tries to land an overhand right The Di Prazak's water side defence and a jab lands for a big first round for Di Prazak Paul, how did you have it? Oh, well, I, I thought uh, Sarah... Stay there, stay there, stay there Round two of the six round fight between Sarah George from the blue corner Black and silver trunks and dirty dyed Prazak. Black and gold trunks. And Paul, how'd you have that first round? Well, I, th uh, I think. Uh, uh, Dye Prazak? Prazak, yes. I, I would have given it to her. She looked very strong. She's, she means business here in the second round. Landing great combinations and getting the better of the exchange with Sarah George, who's looking a bit disoriented. 
There's a real power differential that's starting to shine through in every exchange. And Sarah George, as you said, she's been brave, but she doesn't appear to have the, have the tools or the power to keep Di Prazak off at this stage. It's still early in the fight in the second round. Very, very impressive display yeah. so think, far from the fighting yeah. fit product. Yeah, she, I think she, uh, she needs to move around a little bit more because the air girl is just too strong for her. She should be able to, should be trying to pick her punches and, uh, you know, get in the position where she can uh, throw a punch and hurt the other girl to let her know she's got a bit of power. Because at this stage, she's just walking right through her. Dry Prezak, you get Prezak, that feeling. Yeah. She's just sensing, waiting for an opportunity yeah. to go on the attack and lands a brutal straight right on Sarah George. And Sarah George, unbelievable. She's wearing quite a few punches. Showing some good durability. And only her second fight for professional boxing. And looks like she's trying to land that overhand right. But Prozac's unfazed as she moves in. And she's trying to get Sarah George on the rope. Sarah George showing good lateral movement. But she can't seem to keep, at this stage, keep Di Prozac off. As she moves forward and she's looking all business. Looking in good condition. Uh, Prozac seems to be on. Uh, he's hitting her with every punch in the book. And good exchanges there. And Sarah George may be advised there to get off the road. So she tries to land an overhand right. But watertight defense there from Di Prazak. She's setting up off the jab. And she's relentless in her pressure. Another big round for Di Prazak. Yes, I think uh, yeah, she's won the first two rounds. So uh, the other girl's got a, a real job to uh, catch up. Stay in your corner, Sarah. Sarah and Stay there. Di. Di. Oh, okay. Box. Round three, Di Prazak versus Sarah George. Di Prazak in the black and gold trunks. He's having all her own way, Paul. Oh, she's got a good left there. Oh, well, here we go. There's a bit of a... Sarah George lands a good shot there. And has Prazak off balance. Three, four, punch and drop it down. Ashes Pesavides puts a standing eight count on Di Prazak. So that's that's an early development in this round three here. Yeah, well, that's what she should be. She should be trying to pick her punches She's come out and, try, and try and hit her with that right hand and, and put her down the, like she did then. It's no good, no good trying to match the uh, 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 Prozac because uh, she's just too strong. She should be moving around and picking her punches. Well, she's getting the better of things early in round three. She's already got a, a standing out, eight count. Around and Di Prezak comes back now and Sarah George and these two girls furiously exchanging in the corner. Di Prezak getting the better of that exchange. And Sarah George trying to land that money punch, that overhand right. Prezak gets Sarah George in the corner and whenever it gets in close she's getting the better of things but she's very willing. Sarah George, she moves forward. Yeah, Sarah just uh, doesn't seem to be strong enough to match the punches with her. Well, she, she managed to get a standing eight count, so there is some power there. And that did stun, but it's been all Di Prazak from that point. And looking like Sarah George may be starting to uh, fatigue a little here in the third round. She's starting to breathe heavily. Di Prazak's moving in relentlessly after that early setback at the start of round three. And she's putting her punches together and setting up very tightly, showing good hand speed and good combinations. But Sarah George has shown she's got power. And she'll always be a puncher's chance. Excellent jab there. Landed. These two girls, there's no quit in them, Paul. That guy, she's got such a, a strong left hand, hasn't she? She's pushing her back every time uh, uh, she hits Sarah. Well, she does, but uh, there was a 10-9, so that could be a 9-9 round four. Second down, round four. Fourth round of a wildly entertaining fight between Dirty Di Prazak and the pocket rocket Sarah George from Springfield Lakes, Ipswich. And these two are into it again. And George came out roaring at the start of round three. And you could argue Di Prazak did enough to uh, also shade the round herself. But she got a standing eight count. And Di Prazak's resuming normal programming here, pushing Sarah George back with that ramrod straight left jab. And it seems to be the difference in this fight, Paul. Yes, I think uh, Diane's just bit too strong for her. She's got to, uh, Sarah's just got to go around, go around and, and move around and try and choose her punches, make her miss. Di Prazak showing great discipline with that jab. She's not departing from her game plan. She's pressing forward, uh, setting up off the jab and trying to land that straight right. And, and 
and, and use that power differential that she has. Sarah George really not getting the best of it when she gets on the Ooh. ropes. And a powerful left jab wobbles Sarah George. And she's now showing signs of fatigue and it's looking like as she tries to land that booming overhand right and she won't quit. And Guy Prasak moved forward relentlessly, her conditioning's good. Now she's starting to batter, Sarah George goes down in the corner. Nacious Missilati has put the count on her. Well, that was just a matter of time. Yeah, I thought she was uh, weakening uh, towards the, the end of the round there, so... But she's showing great heart and great chin, and oh, still tries to land that. She's now starting to turn her back under the power, and she's doing everything she can to escape the relentless onslaught of Di Prazak. She's doing boxing fit Jim Proud. She's showing a lot of guts. You can see that Sarah. And Sarah George now. It's just a matter of time before Ignatius Missilates steps in. She's exhausted. Guy Prazak really now looking to finish this and close it down. Oh. Three and four combination. And Ignatius Missileides mercilessly waves off the fight. And that's a big win to Dirty Guy Prazak. Yeah, very, very strong. impressive and wildly yeah. entertaining fight. Yeah, Diane yeah, was just a bit too strong for her. A bit too and, strong uh, for her, but Sarah, yeah, Sarah George, no quit in her. The time, the time. Referee Ignatius Missileides stopped the contest. One minute, 53 seconds, round four. Taking the record to three wins in four bouts. Would you congratulate Dirty Guy, Preston? Thank you. I'm going to talk to Diane just a moment. Let's talk to uh, Sarah George from Queensland. Really great performance. Great, considering action more time. Sarah, you